Hello and welcome back to Memory at Lightning Speed with a permanent memory sphere and power recall. The structure of the brain. To help you appreciate what your brain is capable of, let's take a look at how it's structured. St. Augustine said, people travel to wander at the highest mountains at the huge waves uh, of the sea, at the long courses of rivers and of the compass of the ocean, at the circular motion of the stars, and they pass by themselves without wandering. Modern scientists undoubtedly agree with Augustine's sentiments. It would seem our potential can never be fully measured or used up. The more we explore our amazing inner uni universe with all its range and its complexities, the more we, we, we realize there is to discover. There are three defined areas of, of the brain. Number one, reptile. The stem brain, it oversees the primitive survival mechanisms such as self-protection, reproduction, nourishment, and shelter and understanding our physical reality collected via the senses. Number two, mammal. This brain area takes a quantum leap in terms of evolutionary development. It is here that feelings, emotions, memories, and experiences are assimilated. Also bodily needs and functions such as hunger, thirst, sexual desire, body temperature, metabolism, and immunity. Number three, cortex. It makes up around 80% of our brain area. Here resides our intellect, where reasoning, decision-making, and linguistic ability results in purposeful, voluntary actions. Perhaps the sixth sense of intuition can be found here. Able to perceive information that is not picked up by our other senses an inner whispering call, which urge you to take actions, to take certain steps in life that will lead you uh, in a direction that is right for you. It is a cumulative force of all the uh, other senses. As well as this tripart brain, there's another division into the left and right hemisphere. There, they, these are responsible for the different modes of thinking and specialize in particular uh, skills. The brain can change and adapt on, based on experience. The nervous system that makes up the building blocks of the brain and nervous system and plasticity relates to the brain's adaptability. Left brain hemisphere, logical, rational, linear and sequential manner, it takes uh, responsibility for such things as speech, writing, details, facts, and organization. The right brain hemisphere, this part of the brain works in an unorganized, more random, holistic way. It relies on intuition and deals with feelings, uh, visualization, aspects of creativity. All parts of the brain communicate and interact with each other. You're not destined by your genes and hardwiring to be on the path for the rest of your life. New science has emerged and that enables all people to create the reality they choose. Rewiring your mental and emotional circuits brings with it a simple but powerful message. What you think today will determine how you will live tomorrow. Get the power to let go of the negative beliefs and embrace the positive. These smart, informative, hands-on exercises will help you be your best, free self. Embrace emotional freedom. If you always knew that there's more to you than you learned back at school, uh, but you let yourself be intimidated by high-tech savvy language and this, and this kind of work is waiting for you. How to change the world through 
power we call. This type of work takes real dedication, but the work gives you the essential tools. Uh, it is an unusual, clear synthesis of theory and practice that can make a real difference to those willing to do the work, the essential necessary work. And I look forward to seeing you in the next session. Thank you for watching and listening. Now join my library. There are more than 180 videos for you to watch. I see you in the course. Next click on video 25. I see you there. Bye for now.